Hello, my name is Niall, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the sample map editor in Reactor 5. Um, so, what the sample map editor is, is it's pretty much, um, it's a way of setting up samples across your MIDI controller, uh, across the keyboards, so that you can trigger them pressing different notes. So, different MIDI values trigger different, uh, different samples. So, for this, we're going to be using uh, the travelizer to get the travelizer go to your browser and factory uh, and then not call macros ensembles uh, classics sample transformer and travelizer okay so the sample map editor opened there but um it'll open like this and then to open the sample map editor i'm going to hit this button up here and it'll, uh, it'll open it so once you've got it open <coughs> sorry about that once you've got this open you can see all your audios on the left here um, all the audio that's preloaded with the sample um, and then on the right it shows what notes each thing's mapped to uh, all the different samples and then silence takes up a whole bunch all the unused space pretty much so to add your own audio to mess around with it in a uh, travelizer you want to hit add and then look for your sample so I'm going to use a Bill Nye sample from the creationist debate because you know that should be the sample. You should all be jumping to to uh, granulize. Okay, so now you've got this imported. You can hit this little embed button, um, and it will embed it with the instrument. Um, Reactor will actually ask you to save the instrument after you've done this because you're technically modifying it. But we're not going to do that. Um, so you got your sample imported here, but it's not in the map yet, um, and you won't be able to use it in Travelizer yet. So what we need to do is we need to make space for it amongst all the other samples and the silence. So what we're going to do is we're going to make space at the F sharp. So we need to move the silence up one note and stick it in there. So silence is here. Root note six, left six, oh sorry, low six, high, one, two, seven. Uh, it's taken up most, well, if not all of the space there. So we're going to shift it up one. So we're going to change the root to seven. Oh, we're going to change the low to seven. The root to seven. So it's made a little gap there. And then on our sample, we're going to change the root to six, low to six, and high to six. Change the root back to six. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so it's stuck that sample in there at the F sharp. Uh, okay. So after that, to get the sample in Travelizer, we need to change the sample number here to seven. Sorry, six, not seven. Seven is silence, as you can tell by that big old waveform. <clears throat> so there's our uh, Bill Nye sample in all of its glory. Um, okay, so that's really how you import stuff into Travelizer using the sample map editor. Um, another thing that the sample map, well, the sort of the main thing that sample map editor it'd, it'd be used for in terms of different instruments or ensembles, kind of uh, drum machines, um, stuff like that, where you'd have like a snare map to C and a rim shot on C sharp, and you could play it on your MIDI controller and uh, come up with some cool uh, grooves and beats and stuff like that. But that's not how it works in the uh, in the Travelizer. But I did have lots of problems getting uh, my own audio into Travelizer, so I hope that cleared it up a little bit. So, um, yeah, that is my tutorial on using the sample map editor. Um, so, yeah, thanks, and I'll see you later.